Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We're gonna be talking about the Duggars because over the weekend, something went down at the Duggar residence. Sunday morning, a 911 call was made from the Duggar compound. A friend of mine reached out to me and was like, hey, um, you need to look into this because the police was at Josh and Anna's residence this past Sunday. So I did what I could do, contacted the sheriff's department and everything, and then I ended up having to do a FOIA request. I just got the information back, so we're going to talk about it. We're going to go ahead and roll the intro, and we're going to discuss it. We're going to give YouTube the time to send all notifications, give YouTube time to play that commercial at the beginning, and hopefully everybody will be in here once this um, intro finishes. Sorry, guys. All right, guys, so uh, let's go ahead and let's get into it. I was contacted and um, by a friend of mine who was like, girl, did you hear that the Duggars, um, the cops was out of the Duggars, that there was a 911 call, and um, it was definitely Josh and Anna's place. There is some confusion over where it's at, um, you know, where the call come from. So let me share this with you guys. So let's go ahead and let's look at this property really quickly. I have the addresses blacked out, but the Duggar property is confusing because it's one big property, okay? I, I should have looked for the video, honestly. I actually have a video of me driving through there. Okay, so this is the main highway right here. You guys can see that little blue square. That's the name of the highway. I did cover it up because I'm not trying to dox them. So all these buildings right here, you guys see that big, this big building right here, that belongs to the Duggars from my understanding. This big building is owned by the Duggars. This is their property as well. Now, right here where this key is, or I think that's a key, where this uh, pinkish circle is, but what this is covering up is the warehouse. Here's the warehouse over here covered up by this pinkish thing. Over here is just big, a lot of buildings that are all connected that I'm guessing Jim Bob has done some sort of business out of. So here, down here, is the road to Jim Bob's compound. Here's the compound down here. Here's the big house. Like I said, a friend of mine contacted me because she found out about the 911 call um, she got this this little thing right here. So the call number, the date, the time, the location. So this is covering the address, the city. We all know they live in Taunty Town. And then the type of call says S8 follow-up investigation, right? I did do a FOIA and this is what I was sent. All right, so this is the um the report that I was sent. And it just says the call was made on 625, which was Sunday, at 825 in the morning. So this case was created at 826, and it was closed at 858. So, I mean, not long after the cops got there and talked to whoever, they closed the situation. Okay, this makes sense. How received, the officer initiated it. So here's what obviously must have happened. I'm going to double check. I actually did reach out to my source and I was like, do you know this name? Because the report came with a full detailed report about this person and they haven't responded yet. But let me go through and just, I'm so sorry, you guys. Let me go through and um, cover up a few things and then we'll, we'll look at the report, I guess. I mean, okay. So here's the additional report. Okay. Hey, Justine. Okay, so um, this is the case number, the date, the time. It makes sense because this was Sunday morning, about two hours before they went out to the Duggars property. It says case type closed by exceptional means. And then it says offenses, unattended death, residence home. You guys are going to understand why I thought this had nothing to do with 
the call to the Duggar property because it wasn't a call from the Duggars. It was a call to the Duggars. It was basically more than likely they didn't even call. They just went out there and they had to make a report over the fact that they went to the property and made contact. Okay, so Tommy, um, some of his information, I blacked out his last name. The complainant is um, Tommy's husband, Lawrence. So Tommy and Lawrence are married. And this is, I guess, a relative of the Duggar family. And this is why they were out there, right? So the suspect is Tommy, the person that called 911 at 6 something in the morning, at 626 in the morning, was Lawrence. So Lawrence calls the cops. Here is the actual report. On 625, 2023, at approximately 6.13 a.m., I was dispatched to the residence of Blank in Fayetteville in reference to a 75-year-old male in cardiac arrest. The caller, Central Emergency Medical Services, CEMS, informed dispatch the coroner was called prior to notifying Washington County Sheriff's Office. I arrived on the scene at approximately 6.26 a.m., I made contact with the Elkins first responder. They arrived on the scene prior to CMS. The first responders located Tommy, a white male, 75 years old, in the master bedroom of the residence. First responders moved Tommy to the living room and attempted life-saving medical treatment on Tommy. CEMS arrived on the scene prior to my arrival and took over the medical scene. I made contact with CMS paramedics. I was told they attempted life-saving medical treatment until Tommy passed away. I made contact with Tommy's husband, Lawrence, who was a white male, 72 years of age. Lawrence stated that Tommy had not felt well and fell down multiple times the night before. Lawrence told Tommy he would take Tommy to the hospital. Tommy stated he did not want to go and be placed in a nursing home. Lawrence said that Tommy was in the bathroom this morning. He heard Tommy ask for help. Tommy had fallen in the bathroom against the door. Lawrence forced his way into the bathroom and Tommy was unresponsive. Lawrence contacted CEMS. I asked Lawrence about Tommy's medical history. Lawrence stated that Tommy was not diagnosed with any medical conditions. Lawrence explained Tommy's memory was getting worse and he fell down more often. Tommy's body did have bruises in the early and late stages of healing. This is consistent with Lawrence's statement about Tommy falling down. Lawrence had all of Tommy's prescribed medications in a box in the living room. Deputy Coroner, Ed, Deputy Coroner Edwards arrived on the scene at approximately 6.45 a.m. and took control of the investigation. Coroner Edwards explained that Tommy's death was, was not suspicious and he appeared to have died of natural causes. Coroner Edwards took possession of Tommy's remains and transported him to the coroner's office. All photos taken will be uploaded to the CID file. Coroner Edwards provided me a copy of the medical le me medical legal death investigation report and evidence received for Tommy's medication. Both forms will be added to the case file. My MVR and BWC are active throughout the duration of the investigation and will be added to the case file. So that's his body, maybe his body camera, bodywear camera maybe. So, okay. So, it all makes a lot of sense, like I said. I saw people saying that they thought this call was related to Jana, that they were following up on the Jana situation. That doesn't make sense. It's two, year, two years later. The Jana case is closed. But it does make sense because, like I said, when I sent in that FOIA, I got back this full report that made no sense to me. The addresses were not the addresses of the Duggar compound. None of it made sense. None of the, the names are not Duggar names. So, um, you know, now it makes sense. Thank you guys for informing me. Yes, Jennifer, it seems like they went out there to um, inform them of a death in the family. Either way, that's what it is, you guys. I'm going to do a hangout. Um, we're going to talk about some things. We might talk about Pumpkin and Josh a little bit. We're going to talk about creators using other creators content which i don't mind use it but at least credit the creator you use it from did they ever find out if josh did anything to his kids i would i would assume if they found out that he had that um 
Well, now that he's in prison, I don't really know what they could do. That maybe they would have charged him. They would have charged him. I would assume. Um, you know. Hey, Aussie Tari. Aussie Tari. Um, I did. I got your DM. Okay, so thank you. Um, okay. Let me see. I did do a video about Pumpkin and Josh recently, didn't I? I, I did do a video like two days ago about how their fan group is like no longer a fan group because the fans are realizing like who they are. That was yesterday. No, on the 24th, I did a video. Mama June and family continue to lose fans over their bad behavior. And um, I kind of got that from their fan, like fan page, you know, being in their fan page and seeing that. Um, hey, Chesney. Hello, did Pumpkin Josh? No, 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 no. We're mixing things up right now. So Pumpkin from the Mama June show. Her husband, Josh, is not in prison. Josh Duggar is in prison, and his wife, Anna, we're talking about her, you know, uh, living in the warehouse, possibly moving in at the big house, and um, how she left her kids at the big house with no one watching them, pretty much. It's getting kind of confusing. I do apologize, you guys. Um, but we're going to go ahead. I'm going to edit this video. So hopefully, it makes sense to everybody watching on replay, because in the middle of the video, you guys explained to me that... A family member passed away and that's why the cops were out there and i was like that makes so much sense because i got a report over someone passing away and i didn't know why i was sent this report when i asked for the reports concerning the 911 call from the duggar house so it makes sense you guys give me a moment i am going to edit this video so it's easier for everybody watching on replay and they don't have to wait for me to you know uh, uh, edit everything that I put up and showed you guys. And then we are going to go live in just a little bit to talk about Pumpkin and Josh, to talk about when creators, I'm going to explain how YouTube works for people like me, Katie, Backwoods Barbie, Grace Reports, all of us that cover reality TV news and gossip and like celebrity gossip. I'm going to explain how it works and I'm going to explain what the, um, ethical thing to do is when you really do take someone else's work um so we're going to talk about that um in just a little bit give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys um anyways i'm so sorry all of this got confusing i love you guys bear with me this was a mess i feel like um give it a thumbs up anyways and i'll see you guys shortly bye everyone